Hi, Norman Normitz here. Now, I'm going to talk you through what I've just done to my um, cast iron pots and skillets. Um, it's kind of almost camping time again. In fact, probably some people have already started going camping. Um, and these are the pots that I use, one of them being relatively new um, when I'm away camping. So I've got to cast iron and put them in the garden and I can't neglect them from season to season. So I've got three pots and this is my main pot, not too big, with a lid that's probably about uh, two and a half litres, something like that. There's not really a name on it so I'm not really sure. But it hangs up, it um, gets all my bits and bobs, just enough for probably one person on maybe over two nights. Uh, lid, the lid, I normally, depending on how it goes, because you put the lid on like that, or put the lid on like that, but if you put it on upside down, it's a problem to get off. But it's probably better with the ones that are the flat tops. So you can get uh, coals on top, but I put coals on top of here, all around the side, and it and it seems to, to work fine. But often there's a bit of a build up in the inside because you've got to fire them, you've got to oil them, you've got to sort of match them out. There's loads of people on YouTube that are a lot better at it than me. But what I've done is I've hit the inside of this with uh, a big. Um, um, wire brush on the end of the drill just to get rid of all this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wash that one and then I'm going to oil it and I'm going to put the three of them in my barbecue this afternoon just to give them a bit of an oil and then I'll, I'll, pr I'll probably pre-oil them and maybe do it for three times each. So I've got to bake it for like two hours. I don't have time for that. The second one got this one from my daughter a while ago um, and I have used it from time to time. I used it last night on the fire down at the bottom of the garden um, just to cook something up. But I've always, this wasn't as smooth and I fried an egg yesterday for the lunch because um, this had all been oiled and all been uh, fired. Um, but it, this, the, the bottom of this wasn't um, smooth, so I've just hit it with a 40 grit sandpaper and a 120 grit sandpaper just to try and smooth that out. Um, the guys on YouTube they say, you know, give it a give it a, 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 a rub with an 80 grit, but I just it was just too rough for me. And uh, the frying of the egg yesterday lunchtime didn't really go that well. But that is about 200 and 200 and I think the top's 280 because I'm going to try and get a lid for it and if not, just get a little bit of paper for it the top when you're away, really. But it's fantastic. That one's really, really good. Now this here, I've had this one for a while. Oh, this is a cotton, by the way. Cotton, not really sure of that make, but it's very heavy and very big. Uh, let's see, that one could probably do with uh, a lid. Uh, this is a Gabriel Gate, G A T E, but with a grab, cast iron cookware. I don't really know how old this is at all. As you can see, this is what's got the ribs. These are really good for doing steaks, and these are really good for doing sausages. Because uh, they don't roll around, these are just like uh, move them around. This one was in a fairly bad condition. I did um, like season them even this one at the same time as I did the pots a while ago. But I just wasn't happy with the build up in between here. So what I did last night, because I had a fire on, I just took it out, took it down, because um, you have to build up the heat to try and get all of that off. Um, and one of the best ways if you've got a fire going is just throw it in the fire. Throw it in the fire get it up to the temperature. Now I was, had pallets and timber and different stuff on the fire and it was kind of glowing so it was up to temperature so I took it off 
and a head with um, a wire brush, the wire brush I've got for the for, for cleaning the bag. So I just wire brushed it and I wire brushed it all off. So this one here is right back to pre-oil. This is right back to the beer. Uh, so the, the, the beer um, pan. So I've got to now build this up uh, with oil on it. So I've got some spray on oil. Uh, I've got some a different kind of vent. I've got vegetable, I've got cheap vegetable oil. So I'm going to try it with vegetable oil first, rub it on and then rub it off and then oil it. Um, but I'll build the oil up. I mean, these pots are probably at different stages. Um, but if I can do this, you know, three or four times maybe today, rubbing it on and then rubbing it off and baking it, and then I'll fire them all up at the end of the end of the night, probably about four o'clock, and give them an hour at full heat, and that'll just uh, you know pre-bake. But this one is a bit sooty, and um, only because I had it sitting on the fire, and that's always what happens when you put them on the outside fire. The suit up. And you get that blackness. See my hands just by hands on this, you know. So they're all going to be given a wash. This is fantastic. This, as I say, this is just absolutely great. Not too big, not too small. Um, you know, dice up your chicken and the veg, loads of vegetables, potatoes in there, and a pot of that size. Put any water in it. It doesn't take that long to cook. That is just fabulous. I, I totally love it. Like I say, this could have been black, so you can put the cold and put a bit of cold on there. Like I say, I don't go away that often, maybe four times a year or something. Um, so it's just about time to go. So what I'll do is I'll go and wash them at the sink, make sure I wash them. I'll put them on the uh, hob uh, with a bit of heat to dry them off, because you can't really put oil and stuff on them um, without it being completely dry. Then I'll oil them, I'll go put the barbecue on, at a low kind of heat, I'll, I'll um, oil them up, put them in the barbecue. I'll get back to you. Like I say, there's loads of people on YouTube that are absolute experts in reviews their um, pans, I think, all the time in the kitchen. So they are really, really experts at um, you know the condition of the pans and how exactly you do them. But boy, they're, they're absolutely bulletproof. And when you're away, um, they're absolutely great. A bit heavy to cart around. That's the only uh, thing for me. But boy, they're just great. You can use them straight on the fire. Um, cook anything in them. Great. Okay, I'll get back. So, it's a bit windy here today, I do apologise. So this is my cast iron uh, pots and skillets. Now I've taken one frying pan in the big one. Um, but what I've essentially done on the barbecue, the big barbecue, I did vegetable oil, rubbed the vegetable oil on. Because um, what you've got to do is you've got to smoke the oil into the cast iron. That's that's the that's what we've got to do. So I rubbed it on um, reasonably liberally, uh, and then you rub it off with kitchen oil. So you, you you actually essentially put it on, and then you actually take it off, which seems a bit odd, but it leaves a film of um, oil on the pan. Now what I did was I. Um, and essentially baked them for half an hour. So I did that uh, twice. Then I I coated them again, rubbed it all off, and then I baked them for two hours. Now the half hours is 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 about smoking them uh, and like kind of baking it on, but but the last two hours um, and I put this on. Um, you know, a medium kind of heat, or you know, maybe not 
you know, more than that, you know, really, really hot because you've got to bake the oil on. And that's what effectively we did. We baked it for, I think I put it on for two hours. Then let them cool. Then you take them off. Then they should be good to go. Now the other skillet I've been using from time to time doing omelettes and eggs and, and bits and bobs and it comes up great. Uh, non-stick, because that's really what you want with cast iron. But as I say, this pot's really an ideal size. So that's a baked on. Now I will do some uh, uh, cooking before it actually goes away, camping, because I use these essentially for camping and, and pretty much these ones for nothing else. The frying pan skillet I use for for um, my breakfasts and stuff. So that is the cast iron skillets and, and pots. Bye for now.